Hi there, Dominic here, and today I'll be talking about the Curve Extrude tool in Modo. With the Curve Extrude tool, you can start in three different ways. You can start, for instance, from a plane, simple geometry, or you can start from a curve and a plane, or you can start from simply nothing. First of all, let me show you starting from a plane. So here I have some geometry, I have a plane, duplicate tab, curve extrude, and now when I click in the viewport I have a first knot from the curve extrude, click again, 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 and as you see I can draw a curve and the original polygons, they will disappear, but newly geometry along the curve will be created with the form of the original geometry. Let's go over the settings. In Path Steps Generator, by default, it's automatic is set to off. This means that I can manually set the steps myself, if I set it to 1, then I only have one step. And the more steps I have, the more the geometry will follow the generated curve, the drawn curve. Now when I set it to automatic, then Modo will do that automatically for you, according to the smoothing angle that you can adjust underneath steps. I'm going to uncheck automatic. Align to path, usually best to have that checked. Modo will align the geometry to the curve. And align to normal. With align to normal, you can see the difference in the viewport when I check it and uncheck it. That's something you will have to decide. You can say to start at source. My original geometry was over here, and when I check start at source, then the geometry will start at the source. It will follow the curve, but it will not be at the place where I draw the curve. So usually leave this off. Right now I'm in add mode. This means that I can add geometry. So this one was my last, uh, is my selected knot. So when I click again, it will add to that one. But for instance, if I wanted to add a knot between this one and this one, I have to select the previous one by hovering over it until it turns yellow, then clicking on it to select, to select it. And now when I click, you see a new knot has been added to it. And in add mode I can also, when I hover over it and click and drag, adjust and edit the position. In edit I can only edit and in delete I can delete a knot. So add. Now placing the knots can be done by clicking and dragging on them in the viewport or I can set them over here manually. So if I set this to 0, 0, 0, then this knot will go to 0, 0, 0. If I select this knot and set it to 1, 1, 1, then that one knot will be at 1, 1, 1. The bank angle, right now this knot is selected. The bank angle will give a bank to the knot, as you can see in the viewport. So that way I can spin the geometry. Oh, I thought yeah, it's this one I had selected, so when I bank it, you see the geometry is being twi twisted. I can set it to being closed. Right now my setup isn't great for it to be closed. Maybe when I check off align to path, now it's better, but with the line to path off, again some geometry is being twisted. So I'm not going to set it to be closed. I can give it a start control. Gives you then it, that turns the first knot into a start control and I can adjust 
where th the start is going to point at. I can give it an end control, then the last knot will turn into an end control. I want to uncheck that. Invert my polygons. Sometimes when you make changes, your polygons get flipped, and then you can check invert polygons to correct that. By length, this means that the steps are being controlled by the knots. So if, for instance, I were to draw this, to drag this knot all the way over here, then you see you have large polygons and small polygons over here. But if I want the geometry to be the distributed uniformly along, th along the length of the curve, I can check by length. Now all polygons are uniformly distributed along the curve. I can check create polygon. What this does is you can see it over here. When I uncheck it and check it again, you see a curve being created. This is useful, for instance, when you draw a curve extrude and you say, well, I would like to have a curve to reuse. Then I can check create polygon and now when I drop the tool, I can select this curve and use it for other manipulations. Sometimes it screws up the geometry uh, create polygon. I don't know if that is a, a bug or not or if it's because of the, the tension of the curve. Anyway, with create polygon you have an extra curve polygon created along with the geometry. The sweeper vector is useful for UVing and then we have profiles. Well, although I started from geometry, I can give it a profile. Right now it's at 500 meters, very large. So most of the time when you start off from geometry, you will not use these profiles because it doesn't make much sense to start from geometry and then choose a profile. You will do that by starting from a profile, but anyway you can do that if you want to. Right now the polygons are flipped I think, so invert polygons, yep. Right now you see this is the closed side, this is the open side of the profile. I can for instance say reverse X and that will reverse that, but it also will flip my polygons, so I'm going to invert my polygons again. And right now this is the closed side and this is the open side. This is done by reverse X <coughs> and if it flips the polygons you have to invert them. Reverse Y reverses the Y of the profile. Um, so deselecting the profile, control click on the icon and now I'm back to my curve extrude started from the geometry. Polygons are flipped again, so invert polygons. That's the curve extrude started from geometry. I can also start from the same plane I created and a curve that I have already drawn. In order to make the curve extrude work like this, I have to first select the curve in polygon mode and then select my geometry sorry about that and then select my geometry and then curve extrude click in the viewport and you see that my geometry has been extruded along the curve again my polygons are flipped so invert polygons now in this mode uh, it makes sense to just not edit the curve, uh, but I can if I wanted to. Uh, so in the mode is set to edit, I can set it to. Oh, sorry, in edit mode I can edit. Doesn't make mu much sense, I think, because when you start from a curve and extrude, then you're not going to want to edit the position. Maybe sometimes you do want it, and so you can. And I also can add to 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 it. So 
I have this knot selected, click and I have a new knot. Also at the end knot, select it, click and I have a new knot. But usually when you start off from a curve, I think that usually you're not going to want to edit it. And for the rest all the settings are the same. I've covered them already, so I also can give it a profile. But again, if you start off from geometry, doesn't make much sense to uh, give it a profile. Now that I think of it, I'm going to do Control Z, going to test something, choose this curve, but not the geometry. So only the curve is selected. Duplicate curve extrude, click. And I still have geometry. I did not select the geometry, but I have a profile selected. So actually there are four ways you can start. So from geometry, from geometry and a curve, from a curve, and the last that I will show you from nothing. So in this item layer I have no geometry. I'm going to curve extrude. I'm going to first deselect this one. I'm going to start drawing in my viewport. So now I have drawn a curve but I have no geometry. That was because there is no geometry in the scene and I have not selected a profile. I'm going to select the profile like that and now I have geometry. And again all the settings are the same. Uh, I think I've covered this one. Reverse X. Invert polygons. Reverse X. Reverse Y. So, different ways to use the Curve Extrude tool. A lot of possibilities. I hope you find it useful. hope I've covered everything. And bye for now. Thanks for watching.